Frank Hoofler is a leading expert in chromatography and we're talking about solving tough analytical challenges. Frank, let's talk about the synergy between IC and ICPMS. The advantage of combining ion chromatography with ICPMS is for speciation analysis. A lot of metals have different forms and those can be either of nutritional value, thinking about chromium-3, but they can be also very toxic like chromium-6. So if we would only look at the total metal content in a sample, we didn't know if that sample has some uh, toxicity or not. And this is getting of much more attention uh, by the health agencies, by environmental protecting agencies and so forth. And there are some new regulations from the state of California looking at chromium-6, for example, which is highly toxic at very low levels, 10 parts per trillion in drinking water. We also had some issues in electronic boards and they are regulated regarding the ROAS compliance methodologies. And here IC with ICPMS really is of great advantage because IC gives us the opportunity to separate these species and ICPMS brings us a phenomenal sensitivity to really go to low trace levels. There was also some concerns regarding chromium-6 in uh, toys and that caused a lot of attention because toys, children typically chew on that and there's a potential risk that they would leach out chromium-6 which is of high toxicity. The other areas which are getting of high interest are now in the area of food analysis. Arsenic speciation is becoming a hot topic. It was on the Dr. Oz show uh, more than a year ago and arsenic was found in apple juice but as it turned out most of the arsenic species in apple juice are not harmful to us and that is the good thing to, to mention here. So the separation on the IC and the detection ICPMS, what about the software? That is another key part because you can easily combine one instrument with another, but the user would like to have one software to control both of them for traceability as well as for convenience and easier data mining. Learn more at thermoscientific.com slash ICAPQ.